Hello and welcome to Isopod. I'm Daniel Skuka. On January 17th, 2008, a new station joins S-Track, ESA's global network of ground tracking stations. With the formal inauguration of Santa Maria Station, the S-Track network will grow from 8 to 9 stations. Located on the island of Santa Maria in the Portuguese Azores, the new 5.5 meter ground tracking station sits atop Santa Maria's Monte das Flores, or Hill of Flowers, providing an excellent tracking view over the Atlantic Ocean. Santa Maria lies some 1,500 kilometers from Lisbon and is perfectly situated to receive real-time telemetry from launchers dispatched from ESA's spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana. In fact, the station is now readying to take part in the upcoming launch of Jules Verne, the first of ESA's ATV, Automated Transfer Vehicle, resupply missions to the International Space Station. Jules Verne will be launched in the coming weeks on board an Ariane 5 launcher. Santa Maria is one of the first S-Track stations with launcher tracking capability. In addition to Ariane launches, the station will also be capable of tracking Vega and Soyuz, soon to be operated from ESA's Kourou spaceport, as well as ongoing Earth observation missions, including ESA's ERS-2 and Envisat, and Canada's Radarsat, among others. The station consists of a 5.5-meter antenna hardwired on a stable concrete platform. The station includes telecommunications equipment, a no-break power system, lightning protection, and support infrastructure. The antenna is also equipped with an auto-tracking capability. For the upcoming Ariane 5 launch of ATV, the flight to orbit will last about 160 minutes. Santa Maria will acquire telemetry from Ariane during the initial propulsion phase until cutoff of the upper stage propulsion system, as well as later in the second orbit during the ballistic phase. Ariane will pass over Santa Maria at some 28,000 km per hour. Gerhard Billig is based at the European Space Operations Center in Darmstadt, Germany, and is a service manager for the new station. He spoke with Isopod by telephone from Santa Maria earlier this week. Their particular trajectory of ATV made it necessary to set up a specific network of ground tracking stations. The Santa Maria station is located along the path of the launcher. It provides a critical capability for tracking ATV launches on Ariane, but also for launches from Kourou, like for Galileo. Well, basically the station comprises a five and a half meter parabolic antenna, and also the related electronic equipment is housed next to it. And for further support, we have a non-break power system so that the station is independent of the public power supply. For the team, the launch will be supported by a core team of six people plus an industrial support team. So it is in contact with the launch site in Kourou. And during the critical flight events of the launch, it's necessary to retrieve the data from the launcher in real time. Now, what we can see from Santa Maria is basically the last part of the first propulsion phase of the launcher. And when the launcher comes back for its second orbit, Santa Maria will track the launcher again during its ballistic phase, uh, which is following the separation of it. The new station is located on an island originally chanced upon by Portuguese sailors in 1427, during the initial age of European discovery. It was the first of the nine islands that make up the archipelago to be settled. The Azores as a whole became an important waypoint on the main routes between Europe, the Orient and America during the 16th and 17th centuries. In November 2005, ESA Director General Jean-Jacques Dordain and the Portuguese Minister of Science, Technology and Universities, Professor José Mariano Gago, signed an agreement between ESA and the Portuguese government for the setting up and use of an ESA tracking station in the Azores. The station is operated locally under contract by a consortium of industrial partners from Portugal. In the near future, Santa Maria will also be used to receive launcher telemetry for the planned Galileo Global Positioning Satellite launches via Ariane or Soyuz. Santa Maria's tracking services may also support Project Clean Sea Net, managed by the European Maritime Safety Agency and providing satellite detection of oil slicks, and Project MARIS, or the Maritime Security Service, part of the European Union's GMES Global Monitoring for Environment and Security program and supported by ESA. For ESAPod, I'm Daniel Skuka. For more news and information on the World Wide Web, access www.esa.int. Thank you for watching.